If you feel like you've been stuck through this lockdown here in Northeast Ohio, well, you have had a week to remember the weather this past week has been absolutely perfect. So praise God that we have so much to be thankful for. It's not just the weather. A lot of families are celebrating this weekend, and we celebrate the love that draws these families close. We've got lots of reasons to lift up joys and celebrations. So I'm just going to go through several of them, but I know that you could have, add many, many more. We're going to remember, by name, many members and friends here in the congregation. And we're going to lift up in prayer loved ones and friends who are facing health-related concerns, ongoing medical treatments, recovery-related challenges. In that regard, we remember Dale Bednar as his daughter-in-law. We remember Sue Dahl, Beth Dawson, Barb Davis, Nancy Falter's mom, Mary, Nancy Meyer's sister, Ruth Gorman, Ann Hildebrand and her husband, Bill, Jeff Kobe, Laura White's father, Frank, Joe Laughlin, Carol and Dennis McFarland and Carol's dad, Carol, Margaret Mayer's son, Sean, Kathy Proemba, Emma Setlock, Sheila Uzel, Larry Vincent, Carlene Haven. We also want to keep in prayer the people we know who's grieving for the loss of loved ones has been significantly altered by the lockdown related to responding to COVID-19. So we remember Emily Myers and the loss of her grandson, Sharon and Larry Emily, and the recent loss of Sharon's mom, Irma. Dave and Jackie Lamb, and the loss of Dave's mom, Marie. Finally, let's not forget to remember and pray for our country, for the family of Rashard Brooks, for racial justice, and for opportunities to live out our faith as we walk hand in hand and work side by side with all people of goodwill in a shared desire to make this country better. So let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Expansive God, you bring diverse voices together to form your church. Open our hearts and unstop our ears to learn from one another so that differences might not overshadow our baptismal unity. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Providing God. Your creation shows us that life and death form a complicated circle where the ashes of death can enrich and renew the land and all that grows from it. Help us to be good stewards of the gift of creation and open our eyes to the many ways in which we become partners in the ongoing work of renewing the earth. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Protecting God. Sustain and keep safe all who work to defend others across this country and around the world. Revive and strengthen organizations that are dedicated to caring for refugees and migrants as, as they worry about homelands struggling for peace and justice. And revive and strengthen efforts in our own country, efforts that work for peace and seek justice for all. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Compassionate God. You are with us, always, and we are never alone. Bless all fathers and father figures who strive to love and nurture as you do. Help us to break through worldly models that constrain love and limit freedom. Help us to live the freedom that is ours in Christ, the freedom to love, 
to serve, to grow in grace. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord, touch those whom we love with your love, those whom we remember in our hearts, those whom we name with our lips. Sue, Beth, Barb and Merle, Mary, Ruth, Ann and Bill, Jeff, Frank, Joe, Carol and Dennis, Carol, Sean, Kathy, Emma, Sheila, Larry, Carlene, Emily, Sherry and Larry, the Lambs. May all who stand in need of your help and comfort know the assurance that is ours because of your promise to be with us. And help us to sense the healing that comes through your Spirit's touch. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Loving God, you promise to love us with a love that will never let us go. We thank you for those whom we love who are now alive forever in your loving care. Help us to honor their lives by lifting up the wonders of your love, as well as the hopes that are ours because of the promises you have made. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Into your hands, O gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.